Greetings, cinnamon wise. Welcome to another episode of Suiting Up. My name is Ben, I'll be your host today, and we are going to talk about how to put on cufflinks. Let's face it guys, sometimes suits can be boring, but cufflinks are a great way to make any suit more interesting. Alright gentlemen, so the search phrase, how to put on cufflinks, gets a lot of searches. And I think it's because maybe you just rented a tuxedo and they gave you cufflinks and you don't really know how to put them on. Or you've heard about cufflinks but you've just never seen them. So we're going to go through that and more in this video. I'm going to start by showing you the right type of shirt. There's a special type of shirt that you have to have to wear cufflinks. I'll share the history of cufflinks only because that helps you understand what to look for in a pair of cufflinks. Then we're going to talk about the different types of cufflinks in case you're trying to use a pair of cufflinks that maybe is not the most common. So we'll talk about that. I'm going to talk about the different parts of cufflinks and then I'm going to show you how simple it is to put on cufflinks. It's not always easy, but it is simple. And then I'm going to show you a couple tricks to make putting on cufflinks super easy. So let's get suited up. Okay, so you have to have the right type of shirt to wear cufflinks. What you want to do is look at the end of your sleeve and if you have buttons there then your shirt doesn't work for cufflinks. You should just see two holes at the end of your cuff. This particular shirt is from Indochino. I'm not sponsored by them at all but I highly recommend them. Um, and this is a double length French cuff shirt. That just means that the cuff has to be folded over first before you put the cuffling through. These shirts can be worn where the cuff kisses like this. That's how I'm wearing it here. Uh, you can see that the cuff kind of points out a little bit or you can wear the shirt barrel style which is how you would wear the shirt with a regular button where you fold the cuff over itself and then put the cuff link through. This is harder to wear like this. You typically see people wear the kissing cuff because it's easier to get on. So quick history. So cuff links have been around for four hundred years. That's a long time. So they are not going out of style anytime soon. It became more common in the 1800s when people would wear gemstones. I think they were popularized by a guy named Edward VII who wore what's called Fabergé cufflinks. They're very ornate silver and gold wrapped around a gemstone. They've maintained their popularity into the 1900s. So the history informs us a little bit on what to look for with cufflinks. Starting out, find a pair that you like, not an expensive pair, a pair that you just want to try. Maybe go with an easy silver or some pearl cufflinks because they're very traditional. Buy a French cuff shirt and make sure that you like the look. Make sure that it's not too much of a hassle for you and that you don't feel out of place when wearing them. And then once you've decided that it's a look that you enjoy, then pay attention to the materials. That's part of the history, right? It, it started out with gemstones and silvers and materials were very important. That remains today. For instance, I have several different types of materials. I have some wood cufflinks. These are stone cufflinks. I have silver cufflinks. So materials is a big part of cufflinks in particular. I do want to mention a couple events where there are traditional cufflinks that you should wear. So for instance, white tie events, you would traditionally wear pearl cufflinks. Evening events, you would traditionally wear silver. And daytime events, you would t traditionally wear gold. I doubt anyone's gonna fault you for not adhering to those styles, but it's it's good to know. Me, for instance, I would never wear gold. It doesn't matter if it's a daytime event, I just don't like gold. And that's the last tip on what to look for with cufflinks. Make sure the cufflink fits your style. And there's a lot of different types of cufflinks these days. There's even some modern techie cufflinks, steampunk, and there's novelty cufflinks, humorous cufflinks, there's, and then as, as we know, there's traditional cufflinks like gemstones and silvers and and golds and different metals like that. Oh, and I should mention, you want to coordinate the metals. So if you're wearing silver cufflinks, you'll want to coordinate it with a silver watch or vice versa. So that's another thing to pay attention to when you're thinking about cufflinks. I'm gonna tell you about the most traditional and the most common. This is the most traditional, it's called a double panel, probably because it has two panels. 
and they're held together by a chain. So these, these are the most traditional. They are not the most common. The most common is the swivel bar, T-bar, or bullet back. I like the name bullet back the best. This is the most common. If you go to buy a pair of cufflinks anywhere online, you're gonna find that uh, these are the kind you buy, and it's the kind that I'm gonna focus most of this video on. So there's a couple other common ones, which are fabric or knotted ones. They were very popular about 50 years ago. Others are whale back, fixed back, ball return, stud button, and locking. Uh, I just, I love the name stud button. That's, uh, that's a great name for a cufflink. Okay, so for parts of the cufflink, we're gonna focus mostly on the most common type of cufflink, which is the bullet back cufflink. And there are three parts. The face, which is what everyone sees. In this case, it's a piece of stone. And then coming off of the face, the post, and then the toggle is at the end, and like its name implies, it can be toggled perpendicular or parallel to the post, and that's what holds your shirt together. Putting on cufflinks is very simple. All you do is you take the face of the cufflink, make sure that the toggle is parallel to the post, and then you push the post through all four holes, and once it's through all four holes, you just toggle the toggle, and there you go. Your cufflink should be holding your shirt together perfectly and will not fall out because the toggle is now perpendicular to the post. Again, I'm gonna go a little bit slower. If you have a double length cuff, the first thing you have to do is you have to fold it over. And then, as I mentioned, I take the face of the cufflink between my thumb and my index finger, and I make sure the toggle is parallel to the post. Once I have that, I take two of my fingers and I just put them under the cuff like this, push the post through uh, the holes in my shirt, and then once I get it through one, I can kind of flip my hand over and use my thumb to push it through the other two holes. And then once I get it all the way through, I just toggle the toggle so it's perpendicular to the post and that will hold the shirt together. Now, stay tuned because, like I said, it's not easy and I have a couple tips for this later on. Okay, so by far the easiest way to put on cufflinks is to do it before you put your shirt on. So, fold your cuff over, take your cuffling, you'll have two hands now and you just put it through and once you get it through, toggle it there, and now it's, it's already on your shirt, ready for you to put on, and then once you get it on, you only have two of the holes to get through. So another really easy trick is to just do one layer at a time. So don't try to go through all the layers at the same time. Just do the top layer first, and then you can even flip your hand over and just use your thumb to get through the other three layers. So definitely, do not try to put your cufflink through all layers at the same time. And that is how to put on cufflinks. Hopefully you feel a little wiser, better looking, and more confident in your style. Triple click that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so we can keep bringing you content that will help you wise up, suit up, and speak up. Check out My Nice Tie for other neckties and accessories that support our mission. By the way, you can read about our mission there. I'm wearing a tailored suit from Men's Warehouse, a orange crush handkerchief from My Nice Tie, a stag lapel pin, a white shirt custom made from Indochino with custom made stone cufflinks, and a tan leather belt from Mission Belts. I'll put links in the description below for those items. And with that, thank you for watching. This is Ben, signing out.